Good morning, everyone. It's like Christmas morning. It's Christmas morning because today, today we get an addition to the pond, everyone. I'm excited. I'm excited. The kids are going to be excited. Sophia and Leo. Sophia wanted her own pond. I'm going to tell her it's hers. Kind of is. But um, yeah. So we are going to uh, have the guys from Aquascape. They should be getting here any minute now. I'm very excited. And we are going to, in one day, build yet another large water feature, okay? Uh, with a different shape in this area. How about it? And look, look kids, I gotta wrangle all these turtles up too. I gotta get all these turtles wrangled up because we're gonna have to open up this uh, gate and in this area is gonna be a new pond. And that's Sophia's room. So she's gonna be able to look out and see a beautiful pond, a large pond. There'll be a little stream coming down here. Oh boy. Our animal mission is simple. Education in action, conservation in action. This is Camp Kennedy. Oh boy, all right. So, like I said, uh, we gotta get the tortoises and turtles kind of squared away because we're gonna be opening up this whole pond and the area is gonna be way larger for them. Uh, it's gonna be great. There's gonna be like plenty of room for these animals to move and be happy and healthy. How about a Chinese box turtles? Uh, a lot of them went down because it had been cool. So, we gotta find them all, guys. I know there was one burrowed into here. Let's see. Let's see. Uh, 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 how about it? Look at that. Isn't that amazing? These guys, when it gets cool, they burrow right down and uh, they can hibernate. Chinese boxies, they can take some cool temperatures and uh, I'm not sure if I'm gonna actually take the um, pond turtles out. I'm pretty sure they'll stay in the pond um, at least while we're working, you know? But I want to get the tortoises and the land-based turtles squared away. And there's a little, up oh, there he is, little red foot that I put in here. Oh, little guy. Hey, little red foot. <laughs> Isn't that beautiful? I put him in here just because it's fun to have a little red foot walking around. So we'll put him in here. And uh, let's keep going. We got more turtles to find, everybody. Let's see. Uh, I know these plants are probably going to come out because there's going to be, like I said, we'll just put another biofalls in here and have some water trickling down. It's going to be amazing. Got plenty of rock, plenty of materials to work with. And once again, man, Aquascape. <laughs> I, feel, I feel very fortunate to have uh, made friends with Greg and the guys over there because they make great products. And man, they really just do beautiful work. So it's, it's definitely uh, enhanced Camp Cannon. It's enhanced the yard. And more importantly, it's really enhanced the lives of these animals that I love so much. Anyway, here we go. We're looking for, we're looking for turds. Where are the little turds? God, there's so many of them. We're gonna find them all. <laughs> well, might as well grab this one since it's out of the water. This is one of my pink belly side necks, so let's go get this little guy situated so he doesn't wander off anywhere and get himself into some kind of trouble. Hang out there, little buddy. We got tubs everywhere, people. If you're a reptile person or a turtle person, you gotta have tubs. Plenty of them. Oh, hello. Hello, Mr. Mrs. Tortoise. Cool little hiding area. Oh, gosh, but I gotta walk this one way back over here. fill this one up okay and I'll get these guys situated here in a moment because it's gonna take me a few days to get this place put back together as far as fencing and stuff uh, all right I'm gonna go find the rest of these guys and uh, I'll catch up with you when I've done that uh, I think the pond guys are here let me open the gates for them look at how they're rolling hey Look at you, buddy. Wow, look at this ride, man. There's Greg. 
Good old Greg's cruising in. What's up, man? What's up, bro? This is the best Christmas gift ever, dude. Thank Come you. on, bro. And there's Paul right behind. I know we got Kafaro right behind us. I'm hanging on like my old GI Joes used to on there. Do you ever have GI Joe in your kit? Of course. Yeah, man. That's just fun. Oh, I said a bad word. But anyway, this is gonna be great, man. Holy smokes! <laughs> Look at what they're rolling in. These guys have been building ponds all week. There's Paul. Come on in, Paul. Welcome. Oh, well, oh and he brought his pig, of course. Pig and friends. Piggy. Yeah. Sweet. Where's everybody? Who's are they sleeping in there? <laughs> What's going on, dude? They're getting their Starbucks. Ah, oh, no worries, man. Yeah. Uh, very cool. I've been yapping already to my friends online, and uh, we're gonna we're building something sick. And we're just loving this floor. Hey, is this amazing? Look at this. Hey, what's up, dude? Look at you. Check it out. There's, all, there's my little nemesis. Yes, look at these guys. What's up? We got a whole crew coming in today. We got Kafaros in town. What's up? I'm Kenan. Oh, what's up? I'm Dakota. Hi, Dakota. <laughs> super rad. So weird. Dakota's got some super rad hair. Jealous. What's up, man? What's up? How you doing? What's Davis. Up? Davis, yeah, you. what's up, brother? I heard a lot about you. How you going, man? Oh, no, let me say hello to Lulu okay. first. Hey, man, I know nice. you. Nice. I saw you nice. merely, merely uh, eight hours ago, Paul. Hey, buddy. Paul, you guys look alike. You're going crazy. Yeah? He's going crazy. He knew he was at your house. Oh, uh, well, no she, worries. Yeah. She is uh, welcome here anytime as long as she doesn't pee on the floor like she did last time. I didn't realize you woke up this early, Paul. Uh, you have I'm an enclosure without poop in it? She likes to eat the poop. <laughs> What do I say to that, people? I have animals all over. You know what you could do is put her in the woods. All right. yeah. I mean, she may like that. I don't know. She, I don't, don't think she food. can get out. No, eat, no eating food. We're gonna make. We got ourselves a, a feral pig here. Go ahead, see if she wants to walk I'll around in there. Go in there she like it? Yeah, she'll go crazy in there. Go ahead. She'll kiddo. just root the heck out of it. Yeah, go, go, go explore it. There you go. All so right. is it all enclosed in here? Yes. We're, um, there she goes. Oh, she's gonna get lost in the sauce in there. Well, hopefully. Um, Hopefully she doesn't get too lost. We don't want. No, it. no, that's not good. Yeah. If she does, we'll just bring a bag of food and shake it. Yeah, She'll that should be cry. good. Look at her go. Let go, be a pig, child. Yeah. Go pretend you're in Africa, where your forebearers come from. Really? Yeah, warthogs. I didn't know that. Yeah, man, pigs originated. I mean, I'm not 100 percent certain, but I'm pretty sure certain. Someone do me a favor and Google that, because I'm too busy building a pond today. I'm a reptile guy, not a pig guy. Really? But I'm she, almost she comes positive. From pigs, really? all pigs yeah. are from Africa. Uh, the warthog and wild pigs. I believe, I, I don't know, I someone it. online is going to, you know what, Paul? In the comments, someone's going to tell me if I'm right or wrong. But I believe well, warthogs. Let me know too. Yeah, let Paul know too. Can you guys pin the comment or can we? Then, they how can't does that work? Pin. Oh, they can't pin. pin. See, I don't even know how that works. <laughs> but if you guys, see, I'm an old dude. If you guys find out what's going on, where do pigs come from? Teach me. I want to know. I think it's Africa. Thank you. I guess we're all African to a point. Yeah. Look at that. I'm, you don't understand, man. This is like the best Christmas present ever. All right, man. How you doing, man? Good, <laughs> good to see good. you, man. What's Jack, what's oh, up? Yeah. We got some new faces, old faces. Yeah. How you going, good man? Good, good to see you. See you. Alan, Kenan, nice to meet nice you, man. You Pleasure. Too. Thank you for coming and helping out. What's your name, what's brother? What's up, Kenan? Hey, wait a minute. I what's know your you. Last what's up, dude? Yeah, you? I'm sorry. I am like, yeah, you're right. listen, I got to be honest. I got to be honest. Greg's not around. I feel like the most spoiled kid on earth. Because <laughs> here's the scoop. Listen, we were going to do a stream, and we're going to talk later about the rec pond, which is, I get goosebumps, like I can't believe this is happening. But anyhow, um, we were going to do a stream, and I called Ed, and I said, hey, listen, Ed, I was thinking, man, we probably shouldn't do the stream yet because we're going to build this big rec pond. There's going to be heavy machinery. There's going to be a lot of work. We'll probably have to tear up that, that stream. So I was like, maybe we should hold off. And he goes, well, what else do you want? <laughs> and I was like, what? I go, what are you talking about? I go, I don't want to be, uh, you know, spoiled, but I'll do it. Uh, so Where first off, Ed, Jack, first. come here. Yeah, yeah. I want to show you guys. I'm really excited uh, to show you how the ponds yeah, evolved like over the last few months. Work. So well, check it out. It's, I mean, it's probably gorgeous. Probably a couple hundred feet. It's, it's and, and honestly, the cichlids in there, huh? yes, yeah. the cichlids are amazing. And with cichlids, they're eating a lot of the string algae. Sure. And then there are some species like this Duboise. It's a black fish swimming here. I got four of them in there with okay. the white on the sides. Yep. Uh, those fish just sit there and graze on the rocks. Yeah. And and in Lake Malawi, where these fish are from, they're rock fish. You know, these are fish that love to hide in the crevices. Guys, it's so fun to watch fish darting in and out, yeah. almost like a freshwater reef. Incredible. Um, they add a lot of color, and they're they're performing that function. 
Uh, and they're also tough fish, so they can handle uh, the uh, turtles, yeah. which is great. Yeah. Um, and then I did have a uh, an explosion of guppies. I see these little guppies here. They're yeah. mosquito fish. I don't yeah, know if you guys can the see Oscars them. Are for, so yes, cool. the Oscars just regulate, man. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna use this uh, coral, crushed coral, as the substrate. I like okay. it. I like it, dude. Hey, it's um, working. It's working nicely. <laughs> I think the proof's in the pudding. Yeah. Um, sure. So there you go. Yeah. Hey, we're gonna have a special yeah. guest, yeah. special guest photographer. Yeah, kind of, just yeah, yeah get get over. <laughs> So, since that water is just, that pond is dialed, yeah. I would rather not tap into that pond. Okay. Um, right. We've got a biofalls, we've got a skimmer. Yep. Can yep. we get a biofalls up here, right next to this one, make it look like it's some kind of spring? Uh huh. And then we've got the elevation, and we'll just have it come kind down here. I'm going to remove stream. this. I'll remove this. And just, it flows a nice little stream that flows into a larger pond right here. What do you think? It's you guys doing the work. I, I mean, you, <laughs> a little eight by eleven pond out here. What I love about this is, is your ten by ten. Yeah. Ten by thirty. <laughs> 40 by 40. 40 by 40 in a day. Come on, guys. How many ponds have you built today? This week. How many ponds this week? This is our this fifth one. one. Number, number five. five. And, and you still have another one tomorrow. tomorrow. Yeah. What do you think? And then we drive 28 hours. <laughs> and then you drive 28 hours. Listen. 30 hours. I, I think you know. I'd hours. love to have a more of an open shape. Okay. You know, and a more uh, a deeper pond if possible. What's going to be in it? What are you, what are you going to have? What's you know, I, I'm thinking, I don't know, guys. What should I put in it? In the comments below, let me know. I know that the turtles are going to be able to migrate if okay. they like. Because one of the yep. problems with turtles is sometimes they get aggressive. And so it's nice. Listen. Ah, second little. A second pond. So if they can get out, they can get mm -hmm. away from each other. Mm -hmm. And I may, may, if we have a nicer, larger, open shape, yeah. I may try and put the Fly River back in here. Okay. Okay. I may try it, guys. I mean, you know, who doesn't want to see the Fly River? But we had that exciting <laughs> Fly River debacle <laughs> uh, because I didn't think they climbed. And then a friend of mine from, I believe it was a, a, a zoo in Amsterdam, or some zoo in Europe, emailed me and said, yeah, we had one climb out of the tank, go down two flights of stairs and try and nest in the basement. Wow. This is a turtle with flippers. Yep. Okay. <laughs> so anyway, that's the scoop. That's what's going on. So guys, I've got rock. Yep. I've got uh, Kyle's machine. He's, nice he's lent close. to me. Okay. So Perfect. we do have a machine. Yeah. The only thing I want to make sure is I don't want to come out past this boulder because okay. I'm sure there's some kind of drainage okay. or the septic. And we have and we have our rock that we shipped in from Tennessee as well that Robert Arrington's brother is going to be delivering over as much as we need on cool. pallets. Uh, and Paul Cafaro has been great too. He, he donated a bunch of rock. Kyle oh. donated rock and uh, Paul donated rock. We got extra liner. I mean, listen, if you guys are motivated, I, the only thing is, here's a disclaimer, listen, I busted my back. I literally did. I hurt my back. I can't really bend over right now. How ah, convenient. Ah, how convenient. <laughs> I did. I pulled my back. <laughs> well, but, uh, I, I think our, our biggest challenge, you know, with going with a, a, a bigger body water, I think we can pull off the pond, but the problem is going to be we don't, we brought the biofalls that we had set up for the other one, so we're okay. limited okay. on the limited filtration, on filtration capacity. Okay, what do you so think So it's we a 2,500. I think we can do an 8 by 11, okay. 10 by 10, something along those sides that size easily but you know if you start adding other stuff i don't want to like gotcha under filter it exactly yeah, and yeah. i know you're going to be pushing the limit with you know Definitely. animals and what you're doing and we don't want to have any problems is there anything else we can create like maybe some kind of bog that could help filter like could, could but we, we don't have the pieces for that okay right. <laughs> well, i mean we could do it with passive filtration so there's there's two different types of filtration you have passive filtration right. um which is going to be just aquatic plants along the perimeter of a pond they're going to send down the roots into the water and whatever happens to come into contact with that root mass that it, it'll it'll whatever, grow listen we whatever uh, the, you guys the want most to do. efficient way is active filtration we're okay. passing the water through a media as well as the roots of the plants that's what our wetland filtration is and that's really effective whatever you guys can. well here's what i want to do i want to start digging because it's already 8 30 in the morning okay. so let's go ahead we're going to pop these out and we get and then we'll, we'll once we get this out we'll start marking it out okay let's do it okay awesome and i got to set up a time lapse because i know how you guys love time lapse yeah let's do that all right let's get it all going Next time on Camp Kennan, the pond gets built. See you then. It'll be fun because the kids, as they swing over the gators, the gators will nip at their feet. It could be like pit bull. Exactly. Hey, look, we're vlogging crazy.